Today I will be talking on brutalism in architecture and an interesting part found in Belgrade, Serbia. Brutalism is a genuinely engrossing part of architecture that manages to astound and perplex the people who see it while at the same time managing to communicate the power that a building can hold. We will see how this style became distinct in its own right and distinguished itself. Brutalist architecture was founded in the early 1950s, where it was coined as Nye Brutalism or New Brutalism, the distinct style of immense buildings that dominate the surroundings with fortress-like concrete and flow on both the exterior and interior began in the United Kingdom and moved to the rest of Europe where it was a smash hit after the devastation of World War II left the countries in need of effective, efficient, and sturdy buildings, and Brutalism fit the description to a T. This was also the time that international style was taking off with the likes of Le Cabousier and Ludwig Meis van der Rohe spear pointing their charge, but brutalism won in the industrial area as it was a cheaper style to construct. During the socialist reign of much of Eastern Europe in the 1960s to 80s, the communist bloc found brutalism to reflect their socialist utopian society's values and they tried to create a socialist architectural style. During this time is when Mihailo Mitrovic designed the western city gate to symbolize a gate that welcomes people on one of the main roads to the city center. Mihailo Mitrovic was tasked with designing a 12-story building that would house the offices of the Sutjeska, which was an administrative unit. When Mitrovic suggested that two large buildings conjoined could be a symbol for the city, he was met with harsh rejection of his idea. Still, he persisted with his design, and after giving many persuasive speeches, his design was authorized and started in 1971. And with still more resentment, the building was finished in eight years, in 1979 with an additional 24 more floors to the original Plan 12, to a then staggering 36 stories of unmasked concrete, steel support shafts, and nothing hidden anywhere. The western city gate, or Kula Genex, which is Genex Towers in Serbian, is a poster child for the brutalist style and reflects many of its core principles. The Genex Towers capture just what it is to be a brutalist in architecture, with a very memorable image, clear exhibition of sculpture and structure, and evaluation of materials as found. The higher tower was residential, while the shorter one was commercial. The main feature of the building is a rotunda, which grows from the building connecting the two towers. In the rotunda, Mitrovic placed a luxurious restaurant with a 360-degree panorama, which was initially designed to rotate, but the mechanism was never successfully installed. During its continued use, the gate has become a symbol of Yugoslavian progressive society, but also of its untapped potential. Mihailo Mitrovic graduated from the Faculty of Architecture of Belgrade in 1948 and went on to change the world of architecture. He started out in city planning in Serbia, then was a teacher in Belgrade, while designing famous works of architecture around Serbia with the occasional one in Europe. After that, he moved on to being a critic and attended many famous events, becoming the most influential Serbian architect, and wrote about his findings in published books and the local Serbian paper, Politika, that also mocked the Gen X Towers by calling them a gallows. After many awards, he died just last year at the age of 96. The Prince of Wales once called brutalist buildings piles of concrete, and others have chimed in saying that rebuilt buildings were worse than the rubble they replaced. Brutalist architecture, and what it often entails, can be misinterpreted as unintelligent and crude, but the sublime character of those buildings give them their charm with their cold or inhuman tendencies that make them a building that you can't forget and if architecture is about the human experience in and around buildings, brutalism in was, is one of the most effective in eliciting emotion, albeit fear and respect, from people. Today, this type of architecture can be found wherever an architect wants the audience to respect and above all notice. And brutalism from the western city gate to buildings everywhere are better for it.